Hi everyone, it is Don Danielle here, and today we are continuing our discussion about day life in Los Angeles, California. In my last video, we focused more on how to get around once you land at the airport using the metro or ride chair and the different areas of Los Angeles that you might want to visit, such as Hollywood, downtown. Today, I'm going to get into the beaches a little more just because if you are coming to LA, it definitely is a treat to visit one of them. Um, I personally visited Santa Monica Beach. That one's very nice, it's very popular. Um, there's a huge like amusement park, you know, towards the end. There are giant swing sets that face out to the ocean. There's like um, a training gym where you're able to work out and stuff like that. And then there's also Venice Beach, which is nice as well. Santa Monica Beach and Venice Beach are very close to each other. You can actually run a bike or a skateboard or whatever you wanna, you know, roll on, or you can walk between both of them. Um, I rented a bike to go from Santa Monica Beach to Venice Beach and back again and it took about 10 minutes but it was definitely worth it. There is a pathway that lines the entirety of the beach and so you have the beach here, the walkway for like pedestrians and then a huge like kind of in between that a huge biking path and then on the opposite side you have all the stores and shops so you're able to you know, kind of get best of both worlds. So you have boardwalk shops a bit, and then you have the beach on the other side. I highly recommend one of those beaches if you're able to go. If not, check out both. Um, and then last year, I actually went to Redondo Beach. That one was really beautiful as well, and I actually got to see dolphins swimming up the coast, so that was pretty sweet. Also Long Beach, which I have not been to, and I heard there are some other beaches, you know, as well in the area, but if you're looking for, I guess, the most popular, Santa Monica and Venice is probably a good start. What's up, y'all? Today we are going to be enjoying a beach trip. We are currently at the metro, we are waiting for it to come, and we will be going to Venice Beach and then Santa Monica Beach, so that should be fun. So we just took the metro to Santa Monica Beach using the tap card, and now we are taking a bus to Venice Beach. Be mindful that the tap card may not work on the bus. Um, I tried mine, I have the 7 day pass and it told me to reload, so I don't know if there's a different kind of pass you need for the bus or if it just doesn't work, but do make sure you're carrying a few single dollar bills and some quarters with you to use the bus fare. The fare was $1.25 and the machine does not give change back. Currently in Venice Beach. Um, I just got here. It is very beautiful today. It's a gorgeous day outside. Um, I just got some fruit because it's probably going to be the only thing I eat for a little bit. It was overpriced. It was eight dollars. You have overpriced ice cream for eight dollars and overpriced food. So just be mindful that while it is beautiful outside, um, it is expensive since you are by the beach over the fact that I just bought an $8 fruit cup and they have bike rentals for $8. Hi 
everyone, we are at Venice Beach. Um, it's very beautiful today. We're actually on the beach now. We have our fresh fruit and it's good. The weather is great. It looks amazing out here. Um, don't be afraid to come alone. The beach is very spacious and like empty. And I'm actually I'm not going to record them because it's inconsiderate and awkward. But I'm actually really close to another girl who's alone and she's building a sand castle right now. So, um, if you're trying to take yourself out on a beach day, take yourself on a little date, Venice Beach is perfect. I think I'm going to, um, rent a bike and actually bike down or up, up to Venice or, um, Santa Monica. So, we'll see how that goes. So it's super easy to rent a bike. You go into a shop, they hold onto your driver's license, and then you don't pay until after you come back. That way they know how long you're gone. They take down your information so they can contact you just in case, but all you gotta do is make sure you return the bike back in time. Make sure you take down the address or look at a landmark so when it's time to return it, you know which shop to go to because there are many. Now let me tell y'all something. If you're like me and you haven't rode a bike in a while, riding a bike is not this cute little aesthetic you thought it was going to be as you cruise down Santa Monica Strip. No, these are the ones with high handlebars and there are a lot of things you need to watch out for, so getting adjusted to the bike was kind of difficult and you have to stay focused. I thought I was going to be video calling my mom, doing really cool first person point of view videos and taking selfies, I thought I was about to be listening to some Frank Ocean, nope, this is me sitting here taking a break. The footage I was filming was shaky and wobbly and I thought I'd be able to stabilize it but I wasn't because that's just how messy the bike ride was. Eventually, I did get back up and I tried again. I got the hang of it, but I really thought I was going to be cruising down on my bike listening to songs and chilling. No. In my head, I thought I was going to be cruising down Santa Monica Strip, riding so slow through the breeze. In reality, I was freaking out. I was like looking around, people would like honk their little bells and horns at you and let you know like on your left, on your right, so you know they're coming up and they're trying to pass you. There are pedestrians walking on the side because they share the sidewalk, uh, the walkway at some point. There are people running in front of you. I saw a little kid run right in front of a scooter and her mom had to like yank her up before she got run over. So make sure you hold onto the bars firmly, start slow if you're new to this or you haven't been on a bike in a while, stay hydrated and alert, and make sure you are just focusing on everything around you. I said I wanted to rent the bike for three hours, I took it back after one. Yeah. Goodbye, bike. Thanks for the workout and crushing all my hopes and dreams that I was going to be posting a very cute online biking video. Thanks for the reality check. I'm serious when I say it's a workout if you're running a bike or a skateboard or scooter. Make sure you eat something, even if it's just a snack, and stay hydrated. But that's about all. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye!